recently we were blessed with Devi's grace in our home in the form of a yantra. And uh, my question is, is she the geometrical representation of the deity in Coimbatore? And what is the difference between her, the one that you just consecrated in Salem, uh, the Utsav Murti, and uh, the Yantra and the Gudi? Do you see some difference between me and the speaker which is out there which is speaking to you right now? You notice some difference? But it's right now it's an extension, isn't it? Whatever I speak wouldn't reach you unless the microphone and the speaker are functioning. So, the yantra and the goody is just like that, delivery systems. In some way, even now as I speak, when we say this voice, this voice has a certain pattern. Every pattern has… is a geometric form in some way. Now if I speak, now as I'm speaking, waves and patterns are falling out of my mouth, yes? This used to happen to me when, you know, as a little child I go sit in the class like this, I see things spilling out of their mouth but, you know, I don't translate it in my head back into sound, I just see the patterns. So even now, these patterns are spilling out of my mouth, this microphone is picking it up, making it into a completely different geometric pattern and going down to that speaker and there again it is being transformed into another geometric pattern which again is coming as sound. See right now, from this microphone which is a wireless microphone to this, to the, amp to the amplifier and from the amplifier to the speaker, they are different geometries, yes? The different types of wave patterns, it is not sound, it is sound but it is not the kind of sound that your ears can perceive. Otherwise, what is going here from the transmitter that I have to the amplifier, it's a geome different geometry. Because it's a different geometry, only that receiver there is able to perceive that, not you. For you to perceive, again it has to be transformed into a geometric pattern that you hear which is as you… as you experience sound right now. Similarly, the Devi is of a certain geometric pattern, the transmission is of a different geometric pattern. How you receive it, the means or the… the instrument through which you receive it is of a different geometric pattern, but what is delivered is the same thing. Myself, this microphone, this transmitter, that receiver, that amplifier, these speakers, very different, isn't it? Though these are all different things, still what is delivered is just what I speak. Suppose somewhere along the way, either this transmitter or that receiver, that amplifier gets little mischievous and starts delivering a different geometric pattern, then what I am delivering through my speech, then it will start doing its own pravachan or whatever you want to call it. I never thought I'm doing a pravachan but just now <laughs> It will start talking something different. Then this is a dangerous process, isn't it? This whole microphone, this, this, this is a terrible process because I say one thing, it says something else, very dangerous. This is useful only because it only says what I say, amplified, that's all, enhanced but not different. So right now, if you are sufficiently enhanced, see this is also a yantra, isn't it? The word yantra means a machine. Isn't this human mechanism a yantra? This is the most sophisticated yantra. You can't build a better one than this. You can enhance this by building other yantras, because I can speak, a microphone and this whole system is enhancing my speech. It's a wonderful yantra, it's a machine which is enhancing. So similarly, various activities that we perform, speech, 
activity, mobility, all these things we have enhanced with different instruments or machines that we have created. In fact, all machines that we have created is only enhancement of things that we can already do. You never created a machine to do something that you yourself cannot do. You can pick up a handful of earth. Now you created an earth mover which picks up ten tons of earth. You can speak, so there's a microphone, there's a telephone, there's all kinds of phones. Because you can see there is a telescope, there is a microscope, there are all kinds of scopes. But if you could not see, what use is a telephone… Uh, what use is a telescope? What use is a microscope? Both are useless, isn't it? Only what we can do to enhance that is what we have created instruments or machines. So Devi is a certain kind of machine. <laughs> All the Devi devotees won't like this. The Sadhguru, don't say this. Devi <laughs> I think uh, I have been telling this to people, people have been protesting. Whenever I use the word tool to refer to Dhyanalinga or to Devi, they say, Sadhguru, please. It's like I'm… I'm treading on something that's sacred to them. They don't understand. I put my life to make these things happen <laughs> They think sitting like this is more involvement than throwing your life to make something happen. So, for such people, you must come to the ashram. I will give you a plumber's job. I won't try electrician's job because it'll kind of immediately end, you know. <laughs> if you try electrician's job without tools, instantly, you won't have an experience, I'm saying <laughs> A plumber's job is good. Plumbing job, no tools, no spanners, no winches, no chain winches, nothing. With your hands, nails and teeth, you do the plumbing job in the ashram for three days. In three days, your fingers will be torn, nails will be gone, most of the teeth will be gone, maybe jaw would have worn out and your mouth would be like this because this whole thing would be worn out trying to open the pipes. So, after three days, if I give you a spanner, <laughs> will you worship this spanner or no? <laughs> For sure, you'll worship the spanner or no? So this is how a spanner god happens. Yes, spanner gods. Because in this country, we worship a spanner, we worship a crowbar, we worship a car, we worship electrical switches, everything. No, it's not a joke. We are appreciating that these yantras are what which have give us, given us dominance on this planet. You cannot even run as fast as a dog, yes? You can't even fly like a crow. Forget a crow, even you can't fly like a mosquito <laughs> Tell me, compared to every other creature on this planet, you're really no good by yourself. But we are capable of creating tools. Because we created various type of types of tools, we have dominance on the planet. Suddenly, we are seen as the top of the pile of evolution. I want you to look at a human being without any tool in this world. No animal would think you are the peak of evolution. <laughs> yes or no? Yes? No animal, no creature would even consider looking up at you. Only because you're capable of creating tools from a simple club with which you could fight something to many, many, many more things that we have created which we call as technology today, only because of this. So Devi is a certain machine. But anything that is capable of doing something that you yourself cannot do, you naturally bow down to it, isn't it? Can you run as fast as your car? I'm asking you, unless you're a lousy driver. So, people sit down and bow down to the car. Maybe today they're bowing down with fear that if you do this, 
it will run well, it will not run well unless you drive well, okay <laughs> You bow down to the car acknowledging you're capable of doing something more than me. Why are you standing in front of me like this? Simply because in some dimension you noticed I'm able to do something more than you, yes? Yes or no? Yes. So just another tool, a guru is another tool. Please make use of it. Don't just worship it. If you have a screwdriver, if you just one day in a year you worship it on Aayid Puja, it's good. <laughs> Every day if you only worship it, not make use of it, what's the point? A tool should be bowed down to because it is capable of doing something that your own… you yourself cannot do. Body itself is a tool. Either you keep it as an enhanced tool or a miserable tool. Mind itself is a tool that you have. You can keep it as a tremendous tool or a miserable tool, but it is a tool. So Devi is another kind of machine or a tool. How to make use of her? There are procedures. How to use your computer? There is a procedure. There is a… there is a user's manual. Similarly, how to make use of this machine called Devi? We have a user's manual. This is how you approach her. If you do this, this and this, this machine, you will have handle over it so that you can use it and enhance yourself because you… Be, right now my voice is enhanced because I'm using the machine called microphone. And this microphone is essentially designed for me. I go to every conferences, men and women are using this microphone. It's sticking out like this, like they got some extra teeth. I'm the only one